I, went, I was about 6,000 feet out. And I looked and this I said. This is in North Vietnam. Now. Yeah, I said, uh, that looks like a church. He said, it is. He said, we spread leaflets all around that area to tell people to evacuate. He said, I want you to hit it. And I said, Jesus, I used to Sunday morning. Are you serious? <laughs> so sure enough, he said, yeah, I rolled in. And I opened fire way out about 6,000 feet and blew up. I had, I had to yank and bang and, and pull so I wouldn't go through the debris. They, that was used as a weapon storage area for the bad guys. Yeah. You know, we wouldn't hit a church, right? Right. We did, and it was full of ammo. War is a very unpopular thing to, uh, to be in and start with. And then you have to let all of the, your personal feelings and attitudes go away because you're a warrior. And that's, that's your, your job on this earth, is to win for the United States of America. I graduated in the uh, upper 10% of my class, so I had a choice, you know, uh, bombers or, or fighters. So I chose fighters, which I always wanted to fly, because, because the Tuskegee Airmen was my influence that's your back influence. in the day. Yes. Yeah. How'd you like that F-4? Well, I'll tell you, that was my number one airplane. Of all the aircraft I've ever flown, that was my number one. Beautiful, handled well, was a fast mover. And as long as you kept, as we call it, kept your smash up, you could do anything, beat anybody in the air. Yeah. But don't slow down. Describe for me the worst day you had during your Vietnam tour. First day. That first day when well, four went down. Yes, sir. The worst missions that a fighter pilot can have are his first ten. If he can get past those first ten, he's good to go for the rest of his tour. And watch out for the last ten. <laughs> You know, in other words, there are other thoughts that come into play. Yeah. Boy, I just think I'm going home next week. You know, you can't have those kinds of thoughts. Well, I'll say this. You don't really know the character and the quality of the people you're working with till you get into combat. And then you really know who, who they are, even though some were very young, you know, first lieutenants and so forth. They were solid citizens. You could count on everybody in my squadron, and I'm sure the other squadrons as well, to do what they were required to do. And they were all professional. It taught me like, several things that I've hung on to throughout life. In other words, I became a real aviator over there. I became a real leader over there.